Hi, my name is Dr. Rafael Gonzalez, and today we're going to talk about exosomes. So what are exosomes? It's been one of the hot topics lately. And essentially what they are is communication packages from cells. Every single cell in the body produces this exosome. It's actually one one thousandth the size of an actual cell. So think of a cell as a ball, a mass like this, and then the information inside of there is being produced, manufactured, and eventually coming out with the protective lipid bilayer coating so that message can actually go almost anywhere, travel long distance anywhere in the body. One cell produces this, many cells produce it, all different cell types in the body produce it. The important aspect of it is the message that's inside of it, whether it's protein, whether it's RNA message, it just depends on what's inside of it and what action it's gonna take to another cell. What is it gonna do? What is it gonna make another cell do? It's a simple mode of communication from one cell to another cell. And it's what makes a change in another cell. Why do we need change? Because remember, the body has to be consistently in what's called homeostasis, consistently balanced, temperature, pH. When you, an illness comes in, what do we do? We try to help it. These communication vesicles, or these nano vesicles is what they are, because they're nanometer in size, they're the ones that actually communicate from one cell to another cell. Now, every single exosome in the body is not created equal. They're not all the same. They all have different functions, they do different things. So if you think of an exosome from a heart cell being produced, what is it gonna do? It's gonna aid in heart, maintaining heart health. So in the context of all exosomes are not the same, Think of an exosome in the context of a stem cell, and even in the context of all stem cells, they're not all the same. It depends on the way you manufacture them, the way you tell the cell what to produce. It's the same exact thing as you eat something, you feel good, or you eat something unhealthy, you feel bad. So when the way you feed these stem cells to produce these exosomes are key in making sure that you obtain the correct exosome to help heal, and to help repair and to help make you feel better in general. Thank you very much. This is just a quick on exosomes today.